Hello and welcome to the International School of Traders. Welcome, welcome, guys. Uh, it's a beautiful. It is a beautiful morning. It is a beautiful morning. Hope that you are trading in the evening. Had a beautiful time. My name is Nubeva from the International School of Traders. Today, we are looking at what the market has for us. So we are looking at what the market has for us. If you can hear me loud and clear, please let me know in the comments that you can hear me loud and clear. Then number two, I just want to know where are you joining us from this afternoon or uh, yeah, at this hour? Where are you joining us from? Let's look at the markets together. And all of those things. Let's see where are you guys coming from? Do I have people today? I think I have a lot of people sleeping today. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, since he doesn't want to say anything, Okay, cool. Uh, but on my side, I can hear you. I can see that you guys can hear me. So let's get into the market. Let me show you what do we have, what are we looking at in the market today. Let's jump in, let's jump in, let's jump in, let's jump in. Let's jump in. Uh, the, the trades. Uh, Before we jump into some trades, I have to jump into uh, some news items that we expecting today uh, we've already had some couple of news and this is what we were looking at yesterday in the evening now it's analysis this is the one that we said let's look out for it uh, let's see what happens and we have seen how the Australian dollar has moved uh, throughout this moment right now uh, the Australian markets are closed uh, so we are going to look at some of the Australian pairs, uh, yes, but uh, more of the US session today. Why? We are looking at um, some uh, building permits today, uh, housing stats and building permits for the month of September. Uh, that, is, that's, that is what we are looking at today. Now, on building permits, we are expecting a, a little bit of a drop uh, from 1.6. 7 to 1 million uh, to uh, 1.680. Now that is uh, a very significant number. Let's see how the market works. Other than that, there is nothing much to look at, except for the speeches that are going to be produced, uh, going to be announced or going to be, you know, spoken later on. Let's, let's look at the markets together, right? Now, the first market that I want to look at is uh, the Australian market. Obviously, it's still closed, but uh, there's something very interesting that we spoke about last night uh, on the Australian market. Uh, okay, cool. So let, let me stop sharing. Okay, cool. So obviously yesterday we expected the markets to come down here and kiss these areas and then continue to the top side and AUD entered last night. But the market hasn't even moved uh, that much to us down, but we are pretty much close to where we want to get to this market, right? Uh, for me, I want to see the first, this first bounce here. Uh, this as confluence, then we want to see markets going to the top side of this one, right? Uh, so, uh, what to expect here is right here. Let's put it exactly like this. And let's see. This kind of a Obviously, we do have Fibonacci uh, as confluence at the moment. But I would love to see markets come down to these levels because this is where this is where the strategies were previously. We had to use uh, these markets as a uh, key area of support before moving to the top side. I believe that's that's gonna happen. So 
but today also or this week in this market. So uh, what do we do? Let me just look at this market. This level here is called I need to get zone and the same stuff does on this level, just outside the structure. The structure is out, okay, outside structure is actually uh, zero point four triple two for me is okay. Zero point four triple two. Zero point zero four triple two. One point zero five three. I think this is a good, uh, good, good level of entry. I haven't seen any confirmations for now. Any smaller time frame of this market. I, I still see this market collecting a little more of the market. So as a downside, I don't know how. This is a double bottom, obviously. This double bottom is at 50%. And uh, one would be to say, I want to take a trade now, uh, but uh, I'd really love to wait here and see. You know, what I want to see, if we, if, if we don't hit that level that I, I used as our area of uh, support or our area of edge, this is what I want to see. I want to see something you know, like this one. This like this. Okay. Let's see something like this. Then I'll be much more comfortable taking this trade towards the top side here. So this is the expectation for me. And obviously, yeah, so that's one of the things that we have to look out from. I'd say USD, I didn't take a trade on this one last night simply because I was going to sleep. Um, I don't want to hold some trade to all of us. Um, and market did exactly what we were predicting. Um, market didn't come for the second time on this exact area, but market used this area as the area of support, went down to it, came down a little bit for that, started going to the top side. So, so this is a beautiful setup that we did uh, look at last night. So if you were trading in the evening and you saw this and you traded this, you were in some good money. And then, um, USD, uh, USD JPY. Now, USD JPY, uh, my expectation was that the market was going to hit the level of the market, but didn't, right? Uh, now, what is the market doing? The market is taking up people who are taking sales here. Uh, if you took a sell here, the market is going to take you out for sure on this one. Uh, it has taken some people out. Uh, how far can it go? I believe it can go as far as 30 pips. And then I am going to wait for market on that particular zone. That zone that we spoke about last night. So uh, this, for me, is a very good area of taking a, a trade and then have a little bit of a stop loss outside the structure and then move to this market. GBPUSD, uh, GBPUSD, nothing much. The market is still, still very bearish in the daily time frame, uh, according to this, right? According to this, very bearish. Uh, what can we expect in this market? Well, uh, so we see markets. Uh, OK. 
Okay, good stuff. Now we have finally reached the 78.6, which is at resistance uh, here in this particular case. So I believe that in this particular case, we need to be, we need to be looking uh, for an entry to the downside, which is a cell entry. Uh, let's see how things go. Um, but the market is very strong on the buyer side of things. Uh, it's very, very strong. Even if I go down to smaller time frames, then it's nothing at the moment uh, that is saying that uh, we must sell. So it's a matter of waiting now to see if there is any um, failure to this structure or this level right here. Uh, it is a beautiful level of entry. So let us see, let us watch this. So I'm used to CHF uh, has pushed us to the outside. Again, uh, this one we spoke about last night, uh, but the, you know, the market kept on pushing up really before the uh, market opened. Uh, so market is now approached the support zone as a support level. Uh, this is a very beautiful area of support, not yet. Uh, Right. Not as the one that I would say I, uh, looking at, I believe that market can, since market is looking to support, I think such levels, this one should be very important. Right. For me, this one should be very important to take things just to the side open. Uh -huh. So this is a very, uh, this is a possibility also. Then uh, comes to Euro USD, this is one trade that uh, yesterday had already moved when we were speaking last night. So. Nothing much to that here. I just a bit of an emergency has to go. No problem. Um, so um, we've spoken about AD and the D. I told you what my expectation is there. Then CHFJP, nothing much. Let's see to that much. Uh, the DSD, nothing much also on this one. Mm. So on this, uh, look. This one right here, what we are seeing. You know what market loves to do in these cases? You find the market that's got something like this. You know what the market will do? Do like this. Even break this. Then do what? To find this. This is very, 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 very possible. Isn't it? They know that we have identified the perfect friends. We find also when we check this out before we will trust them. That's right. Yes, these are. Finally, approaching some critical zones uh, that I've been waiting for. Uh, this is the area of 61 which we are going to be looking at today for right. So, for me, that's a, one of the key areas. We'll see how things go. But maybe I'm quite confident with how today the market is. This right here is going to be like. Right. Uh, stop loss of
So we just want to modify some things. So this my assessment is the I believe that the dollar is a positive charge for this market. So I know it's looking very <laughs> it's looking very messy, mm -hmm. but uh, it's how the way we're looking at the markets right now. And this is the good way. Okay, cool stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, also there, my top right. So you can see it as, I don't want to be too far. You see it as, some mouse games. <laughs> some baby mouse games. Okay, cool. So this is, <laughs> okay, cool. So this is my station. This is my expectation. Uh, this is my expectation on GPCHF. Then we can have this one as our take profit. So this is TP. Uh, this is as this is MJ. Then our stop loss is going to be uh, not that high, but somewhere like that. Uh, so our entry is going to be here. So, uh, let's move. Okay. I'm forcing the market. Probably not. For now, for now, this is uh, something we can do. CHF, which is entity CHF. Okay, cool. So this is what we can expect. Look at this so market. Uh, okay, cool. Good stuff. Uh, if you are seeing this as a current session, you are seeing this on your, on your if you're seeing this on your, on your YouTube. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. And then, uh, for those of you who are joining us this coming Saturday, I have a session uh, throughout the day online. It's an online session.
next weekend in person or physical class in those bank. Those bank, make sure that you do attend that session. That is where I'll be going deep, uh, teaching you secret tips and tricks of the forex and the financial market. Uh, those who were in, um, in with me in the office will remember that that was amazing session that we had was this. So are you based? So where are you based in Pretoria? Not based in Pretoria. Pretoria is back. Sentiment goes back. Sentiment goes back. John is back. So there is a number on the post that I'll drop in the group. So that you can always get in touch with us for the one-on-one -on -one session or for whatever session that you are coming for. So yeah, that's all from me today. So one and only, I will see you on the other side of the withdrawals. Sha.